The online business space is changing very quickly and if you are looking for more ways to start earning an income online, you're going to have to adapt to the latest trends and ideologies and take it seriously because this is the way forward. And all of these new AI platforms that have come out over the last number of months, over the last year or two more specifically, are quickly rising in dominance as the ultimate way in order to create content that again will be use to start earning an income and to grow your business a lot faster so if you don't jump on this trend you will be left behind and you could be missing out now while these platforms do have the ability to create content and to simplify your work processes and get work out a lot faster there are some caveats which i'll discuss later in the video that you should be aware of and that you need to be mindful of so that you can create the best type of content possible which will present the best return on investment that you can use throughout a variety of different avenues to make money online and for most of us honestly most of us are lazy we want to get the quickest result for the least amount of work so for this process we're going to show you how you can make money using a program under the name of chat gpt that has recently become a revelation in the online AI space. But we will also look at 15 different ways in how you can make money as a side hustle or potentially build it into a long term sustainable business using platforms like these that will suit people that don't want to put a lot of work in. Well in saying that there is going to be work that's required but just know that there is going to be some input on your end in order to make these elements happen. So for the first idea to make money using this AI platform you can create and generate business name ideas and brand ideas so essentially what you can do is you can head on over to the likes of Fiverr or even Upwork and you can look for specific job types you will need to set up a profile and you will need to create various type of job gigs so that you can sell yourself pretty much as a content creator so if you look at the multitude of profiles that are on the platform it will give you an idea of what you can expect now a lot of these creators will have gigs literally in different types of areas as well so if you come up to the writing and translation section you can see the multitude of different job offers and postings that would be available so all you need to do is just find one that you think will be relevant and click on it just to give yourself an idea of how you can present your profile so as you can see here these people will help you to create your brand and business name and then you can set a specific price so you can add in different tiered packages depending on the items that you can add in so you can add in more depending on the higher tiered structure or plans that you have set up so again when you're just starting out you probably won't be charging this price because you want to start off at a more entry level point and build yourself up again a lot of these profiles do take time to get to this point but when you've got more feedback behind you and it's positive then you can eventually start charging higher prices so to really go into this here to give you an idea of this set up your profile on Fiverr go through the process you can follow the same type of outlines and outlays that you see in these type of profile pages and build it up in a professional way that looks presentable then all you need to to do is come over to a platform like chat gpt and then all you need to do is type into the bottom bar here and it will give you pretty much ideas and anything you can think of so just to give you an example so when you've typed in a name or given the specific parameters of what you want the content to reflect just click on the button and what it's going to do is the program is going to give you a list of different names it'll pretty much type out anything that you want it to reflect so as you can see here it gave me a list of 10 different names so i put in the parameters of write 10 business brand ideas for an affiliate marketing agency and as you can see here it gave you affiliate avenue affiliate bridge affiliate nexus affiliate summit affiliate track affiliate voyage affiliate trial affiliate journey affiliate summit and affiliate odyssey now you could add way more into these you can literally just look for more names and you can just keep adding onto this if you want as you can see here now it's giving you a list of other names that you can also use so the sky is the limit like you can use this for pretty much anything that you can think of like when you look at the additional names it gave you affiliate central affiliate evolution affiliate wave affiliate zone affiliate avenue affiliate launchpad affiliate progress affiliate summit affiliate empire and again there is some duplicates that will show up now that's the thing with it being an ai program it's not going to be 100 percent accurate that's the one thing you'll have to be aware of that is one of the concepts you will have to be aware of when utilizing any of these platforms 
Now what you want to do is even have a look at some of these names that you can present to your clients on your Fiverr gig. What you want to do is you want to go online and do a Google search but you also want to look under these specific names, they copy them and type them into Google and see if there's any names already been used because if they're already been used then you technically can't use them. But you can look for ones that might not be used, there's a chance that some of these platform names mightn't be used. So you can compile a list and narrow down the list of the ones that are available. Then you can make that list up and then set up specific brand ideas and products and even create various packages then for your clients. So you can do up not just the brand idea names, you can create banner images, you can create email copy, pretty much anything you can think of, all to suit the specific brand idea. And then you can obviously then charge more with the more gigs that you do. So that could be one avenue that you can look into. The second income earning idea that you can also look at would be to write job descriptions. So again, head on over to Fiverr and create a gig and cater it to writing job descriptions. So have a look at various gigs that are already there to get an idea of how you can structure your own, to give an idea of how you can outlay the types of content that you can create and that you can cater the job descriptions based around specific elements and even create them in a way that's SEO optimized so that they can also be ranked. So to give an example, say for instance, a company approaches you and they want a job description based off of they want to hire a new software engineer for a company so all you have to do is just come into chat GPT again and then just write and give an overview of exactly what you need so you can give just an outline of exactly what you can expect to write based off of the criteria that your client has given you on Fiverr so all you have to do is just go through the process again. Now as you can see here, it's writing out a fully detailed description. Like it's quite incredible what you can do with this. Like when you look at various job websites, just to give you an example. So as you can see here, with regards to different job kind of layouts, like this one here, when you look at the specifics and you go into the description, it gives you an outline of the title. Then it goes into the core job responsibilities, role requirements, job competencies, and then even down to the salary, the schedules, and whether you can locate or relocate but even when you look at the output from the AI app you can see that it's almost very similar and the majority of job descriptions that are written on a lot of these job related sites are written exactly like this like you can imagine the amount of time and effort that it would take to write out a detailed description like this if you were doing it manually the fact is that this can generate it in a way that's presentable and can cover pretty much all of the aspects that you're looking for is quite incredible now in saying that even though it is generating it to a very high standard there may at times be some discrepancies in terms of spelling and how it's worded so it is up to you the individual to literally just come in copy and paste the text into say a word document and then just tweak certain words and reword it to kind of suit the quality of the work that you're going for so that you can present it back to your client which they can then use on their job postings on these job websites or on their official business websites if they have any career sections where they're promoting any jobs or various positions then they can utilize all of the content that you have written to use that and mostly a lot of businesses will usually outsource a lot of these elements because they're focusing on making money and doing their own type of things they don't necessarily have time to put into writing detailed descriptions or they don't really have anyone available to utilize many of these aspects so they usually will outsource it to other kind of brand identities or other businesses or freelancers so that's where you can step in Again, it's as simple as creating a quick gig on Fiverr, setting it up in the right way, utilising the elements that I've just shown you. Mind you, you will need to tweak the words and to reword certain elements in a way that looks more presentable and that can be seen from a point that it looks like a human had written it. And then you're pretty much good to go. And like the previous elements, the more you do, the more you can eventually charge. So you can set up the different packages and pricing structures depending on the amount of work that you are able to acquire. So the third money making opportunity that you can also look into would be speech writing. A lot of people and even businesses and public speakers many times would need specific copy written so that they can speak at live events and even presentations and more often than not because they're heavily booked because they'd be traveling all around the world and they have to adhere to strict deadlines. Sometimes they don't have time to write a specific speech depending on the outcome or the topic of interest. So that's where you can come in 
then again you can have a look over on fiverr have a look at the different job types that are on offer as you can see here there is loads of gigs for speech writing so you can literally set up and write creative and heartwarming speeches or even very direct and informative speeches to cater to specific dynamics depending on whether it's business related or whether you're doing mindfulness kind of like training any type of content that is required from you at that specific time that's what you can get involved in so like the previous steps go through the same process have a look at the different gigs that are already there see what they're paying out see what they're asking for look at the various profile pages and how they're set up look at the layout see if it's something that you can replicate and put your own spin on it then go about the whole process of completing and setting up your gigs promote yourself then when you've acquired some clients and they've given you a specific outline of the type of speeches that they might want you to write you can literally head back over to the app itself and literally just tell it what you want from it so once you've given the outline based off the parameters that you've received just go through the process again and chat GPT will give you all of the information that is required so that you can use to your own needs you can also add in more elements to this if you want to and you can even recycle or reward the content so you can set it up to rejig what's already written if you're not happy with it so as you can see here it's written an outline based off the certain topics that you can cover with regards to whatever the client's looking for in this case they're looking for an outline for people looking to quit their job and build an online business for this here you can be more specific and what you can do is is you can literally take one of these elements and then you can copy and paste it down into the bottom so by just expanding on the elements that are already there you can see here that it's writing a detailed paragraph so if you wanted to write a paragraph or a list of elements it will do exactly pretty much as you want it to do which is quite incredible and you can use this then to bring into an editor of some kind and tweak it and add your own kind of spin on it and I even add in some other relevant information that the client might want you to add and make it unique to what the client is requesting and then you can take what you need and then send them on the file then and if they're happy enough with it that's where you can start making money so that way then they can go ahead and get to their speeches or their events that they're going to and they have a speech here ready to go pretty much so you can structure this as and how the client wants pretty much but just note as well like I mentioned not to just copy this directly and paste it into a document and then just send it on to the client you want to make this more specific you want to reward certain elements and you want to take the time to make it more dynamic and more specific to the client requirements when you do that then you're good to go the fourth idea that you can use to make money using this service would be podcast writing. As you know yourself, in the modern era, podcasts are starting to become a very, very popular concept. And a lot of people are building lucrative and successful businesses through podcasting. As it allows a different dynamic to the way conversations and communication can be met among different types of entities. So podcasting creators sometimes might look for other alternatives and other outlooks with regards to creating scripts for their podcasting shows or even videos as they may not have time to utilize certain aspects so that's where they can hire a writer to write specific elements and even create different types of topics so you've probably gotten the idea by now you can head on over to fiverr or even upwork look at the specific elements that are available on the platform you can have a look at the different gigs get an idea for what is there what's popular what you can look for in terms of how you can price and structure various elements with regards to the packages that you can create and when you've gathered a few clients you just use the AI platforms again go in and create content based around their requirements so again just have a look at the specific elements and add in what you need so as you can see here to give an example write a podcast script for a video game dev interview so you can break down specific parameters it'll even write down the various elements that you can use to structure the entire podcast that you can walk around different types of topics and different types of conversation elements where you can break it down into like say how you would structure the podcast in general you start off with the intro music you can announce the introduction where you can announce yourself and announce the podcast then you can also introduce the interviewee person that's being interviewed 
interviewed and then it will literally go through the process of how you're going to ask questions the types of answers you could possibly get and all of the in-between dynamics that you can use to create very good conversations to relay that information onto people that's listening so as you can see here this does here a fantastic job of putting together a whole unique dynamic that you can use to create something really really cool and to create a very engaging type of topic idea for your podcast and you can create it as short or as long as you like it really just depends on the topic itself so again when you've had all of the elements ready to go it's a case of like I said just reading over everything adding it into a word document and just checking it to make sure that everything's okay with it and literally just rewording certain elements and then when you're happy enough with it and if the client's happy with it then you can send them on the file that they need to move forward so that they can then work with whatever they need to do and the chances are if you've done a good job with this there's a really good opportunity for them to come back and purchase more of these type of scripts from you in the future the fifth opportunity you can also look into with regards to making money using these methods would be to generate email copy. So if you're building a business, one of the most important aspects of building a business and making money online is to build an email list because technically the money is in the list. And the reality is, is regardless of any platforms or any accounts that you have, whether it be on social media, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is, there is a possibility that those accounts of yours could be shut down. But your email list is the one thing that will stay true to you because it's the one aspect of your business that cannot be taken away from you at all. So it is good practice to focus on building a list alongside of trying to build and scale your business as well. But for most of us, even myself included, the reality is, is writing email copy isn't always the best thing or the most enthusiastic thing to get excited about with regards to building your business because writing email copy that to draw people in can be quite difficult to master. I don't know how many times I've literally sat for hours trying to write even one email and I couldn't even think of anything to write. You just hit a complete writer's block with no idea or concept of really what to word, what to say, what titles to use, how to read describe what it is that you're trying to do if you're running a promotion it can be very very difficult so in many cases what a lot of people do even with companies they will usually reach out to freelancers and this is where the likes of gigs and fiverr will come in they will look for people to write the emails for them so that will save them time so that they don't have to focus primarily on that aspect that they can focus on more intricate parts of their business and all they have to worry about is just gathering the information that's already written out for them and then just putting it into the emails so in this case even to walk around that if you set up a gig on Fiverr, all you need to literally do is come into one of these apps and literally just start writing out content based off of your client's kind of preferences, what it is that they're looking for, what type of email titles do they need. Like in this case, you could write out a list of titles for a specific preference. So it can be anything specific, like in this case, write 10 email titles to promote blenders. You may be trying to promote maybe stuff on Amazon or different types of hardware or stuff that you can use around the home and trying to generate some sort of idea can be quite tricky. So this here is ideal because look at the way it's generating all of the content on the screen. This here is giving you ample opportunity to create some very attention driven headlines and titles that you can use for your emails themselves to draw people in to click and open the email so if you've actually found a title that you can use that you think would be relevant to what it is that you're looking to do all you need to do is again expand upon that idea with the platform itself so all you need to do is just literally copy and paste one of the elements that you need and just add a few other parameters to it and then just let it do its thing you can see how efficient it is at writing out the content again you will need to make a few tweaks and adjustments here and there because you want to make sure that the content is relevant that it looks like it's been written by a human you will still need to tweak things here and there so as you can see here just to give you an example we can literally just copy the headline and then we can go into our email autoresponder and you can literally see here all we need to do is just add in the subject line we can add in the recipient add in the message tightly you can just use the same elements that's seen in the title itself so you can just add in whatever parameters and then you can design the message 
So you can look at existing messages, you can look at various templates, depending on the autoresponders that you use. You can use Aweb or you can use, in this case, Get Response. There's a multitude of different things that you can use. So it's just a case of just adding in the specific elements. So as you can see here, all you need to do is just literally copy it. What you can also do is, you can either add it into a Word document, or in this case, you can just paste it in. As you can see here, you just right click and then just paste it in as plain text. That way then you can start editing it to your liking and then you can pretty much change up any type of ideas and just work within the boundaries of what's available to you and then you can change out various words you can use an app with likes of Grammarly to change out other words reword certain elements just to make it more unique so there's loads of different ways in which that you can do this and when you're happy enough with it you can send this email copy over to your clients on Fiverr or Upwork or you can use it for yourself if you're trying to create your own type of content for you to build your own email lists so it really just depends on your own ideas wants and needs so this is another good way to go as well. The sixth opportunity you can also look into would be creating ebooks or writing content for ebooks. So you can look on Fiverr to see what's available in terms of gigs, what are people producing, what types of content they're producing for, are they writing for the likes of Amazon, Kindle, are they writing other types of ebooks. See what's available. You can set your own pricing structure or preferences and then you can cater the content around what your clients need. So all you need to do is literally come over over to chat GPT again look for specific elements so if someone's coming to you looking for say write an ebook to outline 10 ways to make money so this here you can set it up where you can first of all create like the chapters or the various topics that you'll cover in the ebook and then you can go in to gradually start creating the content around each of those specific topics so as you can see here it breaks it down into specific headlines that you can use to structure your ebooks so all you would need to do is just go through each individual section and then if you want to write say a couple of pages or even just a paragraph or two of each section you can do that so in this case you can literally just type in the parameters write a 300 word article on monetize a blog or website through advertising affiliate marketing or sponsored content and let it do its process and it will produce exactly what it is that you're looking for and as you can see it also structures it in a way that's very professional looking it even breaks all of the elements down into unique paragraphs so it automatically utilizes all of the spacing elements so you don't have to worry about that that's what's really phenomenal about using a platform like this is it takes out a lot of that tedious nature that you would have to be aware of if you're trying to type everything in yourself as you can see here you can use this in saying that you do have to be mindful to not just copy and paste it like I mentioned you can use elements of this because the structure is relevant and it's very good and it's very well laid out but you will probably need to tweak a few things like I mentioned and make it more unique to the client but this here will give you the perfect template or foundation to work with so that you can create something really unique so literally all you do is just copy and paste it paste it into your word edit up and then you can go through the specific elements and then just change out all of the types of text and any type of errors that might pop up and then just make it unique to your own and then also using a tool with the likes of Grammarly will also help you with this as well to make it a wee bit easier spend a bit of time with it and read through all of the elements seen what you can also do is as well is if you are creating an ebook for yourself or even for your clients you can use the likes of Google Docs I'm showing here but also another really good way to do this this would be to use Canva. Canva is a phenomenal platform for creating ebooks. To be honest, there's a lot of people out there, content creators, that are building very lucrative businesses, creating ebooks that they sell on Amazon, Etsy, and other types of websites. And they literally create everything just in Canva. Like it has so many tools and features inside. You can create anything from YouTube, thumbnails, anything you can think of, social media copy, posts. It has pretty much everything. So all you have to do is just find a template that you like, open it up, customize the template. It will open it up and a new window and you can add in a multitude of different pages now when you're using the free platform you will be limited to a certain amount of pages that you can use it's anywhere between 10 and 30 pages but that's still more than enough to create a really good ebook but for more intricate type of work and if you have more clients and they want you to build and create way more content it's a simple case of upgrading to one of the paid tiers or the pro plan that will give you access and unlock all of the additional features so that you can do a lot more work on the back end if you're interested in being able to use 
you utilize this as a method to make money online i'll drop a link below to canva down in the description so that you can go and get started with that as well if ebooks is something that you want to create so all you literally need to do is like i said just copy all of the text that you already have just add it in as plain text and then it's just a case of just editing it and tweaking it you can remove any unwanted segments that you don't want and just change things out to suit your own needs that's pretty much all you need to do and it's the, the best thing about canva is it's everything's drag and drop a beginner with no experience can literally do this once you understand the tools inside and it won't take long for you to figure everything out you have everything here that you need and also just be mindful just to be aware like i showed you just to reward certain elements and just change out certain parameters just that it's more user friendly it's easier to read and that it looks like it was created by a human so that you can then save out your ebook when you've added in all of the specific details as you can see here there's a load of different pages you can add in more pages if you want to and then when you're happy enough with everything you can literally just download it you can just save it out as a pdf you can set it out as a standard pdf to use online or you can set it up for print it's pretty much down to your own preferences so there's no excuse why you shouldn't use these type of platforms in conjunction with each other as they do work really well together so this would be another really good alternative to get started creative writing would also be another really good avenue to look at you can create pretty much anything from letters to poetry to writing scripts or stories for games even song and music lyrics actual stories for children's books or novels there really is no limit to what you can create in that respect and there's a lot of very talented writers on the likes of fiverr and even other freelance working sites that will create a multitude of different types of written copy based off of certain criteria that's needed for businesses or creative individuals so you can also use these methods to create your own type of articles which you can utilize like i've shown you in the last se section where you can create your own ebooks if you want to sell them on like of etsy or wherever it is that you want to sell even like shopify set up your own kind of programs whatever it is that you're looking to do you can create your own or you can set up gigs on fiverr and set up your own pricing structures and acquire clients that need help with creative writing aspects like someone could be wanting to write a story for a children's book but may not know where to start or they're kind of stuck as to how to progress further with the actual story that's where you can come in and create written elements and just dialogue that you can use to give and inspire ideas so using the platform or app again you can literally set up a whole structure to create even the likes of a table of contents element for a book so as you can see you can set up the parameters like if someone's coming to you looking to write elements for say a child's storybook or novel all you have to do is just give chat gpt the parameters that's needed like in this case write a 200 word story outline for a child novel like there's no really no limit to what you can create with this and then you can expand upon it given the specific dynamics that's required utilizing mind you the same elements that i've mentioned that you don't just copy and paste everything that's there and just give it directly to your customer or your client you want to look over all of the elements make sure there's no mistakes make sure all of the copy is relevant to what they're looking for and change out specific elements change the text around look for errors and just tweak it and make it unique to not just yourself but what the client needs as well and you'll be good to go so this is another great alternative which you can then use to send to your clients then on Fiverr or whatever freelance website that you're using. Or even if needed, you can also set up, like I mentioned before, if a client wants you to create a storybook styled novel, you can literally do that in Canva again. You can set up a whole different dynamic with regards to creating a whole individual book as Canva does have all of the layouts and features that you can literally use to structure a book and a story how you wish, as you can drag and drop everything everything you can set up different types of content pages or table of contents you can add in visual references and images that will reflect the written aspects of the story so that it can tell the story and give a more visual presence to the information that's being presented you can do this on canva and then when you've finalized the finished product and sent over drafts then you can send them over then to your client so that they can see what they think for themselves so there really is no limit to what you can do with all of this in all respect you're only limited by your imagination but this is still another fantastic alternative that you can use to make money online and you can focus on this particular area there is people just doing this for a living and making good money with it
Next on the list of money making opportunities that you can use with ChatGPT would be to look at ad copy or sales copy. So as with the previous processes, have a look at Fiverr, Upwork or any other type of freelance websites and look at the gigs that are available. See what they are generating and see what type of ways that they are producing their content and see what packages they offer and see the pricing structure so that you can get an idea of how to structure your own processes. So even to give you another example, when you look at like sales websites and more actively sites like Amazon and other sales websites they're always using sales copy to try and sell their latest products and services anything from the likes of the details about the product and how they try to create catchy kind of one-line hooks to try and draw you in to entice you into want to buy in so this is an example of how ad copy works and the same can be used in the likes of emails and newsletters and so forth that will also allow you to capture people's attention. So this is another really good way of being able to add in various ideas. So all you have to do is literally come to ChatGPT and then just literally tell it to write out sales copy for you. So as you can see here, just by giving it the requirements, right, add copy for the new GoPro 11 action camera. Literally what you can see here is this giving you a full rundown of exactly how it's going to portray the sales ad copy that you can see on the likes of these websites. And it's generating that here literally within seconds for you. Like when you look at this here, if you were to sit down and try and write this yourself, you'd probably struggle with it, trying to find that engaging hook. This program here can do that literally in seconds. And the best thing about it is if you're not happy with it, you can just go through the process and get it to write a, a different alternative and even add different kind of aspects to make it more catchy literally all you do is just type type it in and as you can see it will rework the text that's already there but it will reword it in a way that appeals to what it is that you're trying to tell it to do so it will make the text more engaging and more catchy the ideas that you can produce with this here are endless and when you're happy enough with everything you can literally just copy it and then paste it into say a word document tweak it if you need to and make sure that it's legitimate and that it's what the customer wants but again like as, like i keep mentioning make sure that you make it specific to the user and to try and put a human element into it so that it's not a direct copy and paste job because that's the one thing you don't want to do so you make it unique but you can take definitely all of the relevant information that is here and then make those subtle changes and then you can send it on to your client and if they're happy with it then they can use it then on their sales pages for their products as you can see here so that's another really good alternative that you can use as well Another idea you can use would be newsletters. Similar to the likes of all of the previous elements like with sales copy and so forth, newsletters are also a great way to keep your viewers engaged. So you can gain ideas instead of gigs on Fiverr or even if you're generating your own lists and you want to keep people engaged. You can just look at the various ideas and what's on offer and you can see how people lay out their structures and set their pricing formats. So that way then you can have an idea of how to, how to structure your own. So it's literally just a case of coming back into the app and then just add asking it to generate a specific newsletter based around a certain topic. So as you can see here, you can literally use this to create ideas for various magazine articles, even for like modern ideas, concepts. In this case, I've used the idea for video games. Even if you're a retro game collector or you have like a retro game channel, you can even create likes of ebooks or even magazines to create nostalgia around popular games that would have been released years ago on popular consoles such as the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, Sega Master System, Mega Drive or Super Nintendo or any of those classic consoles so you can literally create newsletters documenting your processes of the games that you've played while keeping your audience engaged and if you have any other articles or even relatable kind of sales ideas where you're promoting maybe say a retro games console or something like that on a different website you can use that angle as well so creating newsletters is a good way to go with that aspect of it there really is no limit to what you can do here Another great use of using platforms like ChatGPT would be to create articles based around technical writing, especially for the likes of SEO articles, coding and even programming practices. As there's a lot of people out there that create likes of code and specific type of elements for websites, apps and all sorts of engineering and different types of technology. So where you could come in is that you could set up specific ideas and parameters based around required elements or queries and you could use the likes of the app to create 
specific documents and structures so that clients can know how to formulate ideas and create new kind of concepts based off of their programming practices or SEO practices. So using platforms like Fiverr to set up gigs to generate ideas and to let clients know that you can generate content for them and set up structures so you can create anything from the likes of code elements, articles, even set up like PDF booklets, instruction manuals, anything that kind of relays back to the various practices that they are currently using so that they can have a format to follow along with or even if say if they're an online course institution and they need specific structured processes to set up to teach their students you can literally come in and create these different types of catalogues and variations of concepts for them and you can use the likes of infographics and all of the like to give a visual representation of what has been written on the screen so you can utilize all of these elements here as well to create the content and it's just a case of generating the text or the information that's needed using the app itself. As you can see here, you can tell ChatGPT to generate articles and formulate ideas for any type of queries. And if you're working with the likes of coding or SEO, what it will do is it will even generate code that you can also use and will allow you to copy the code that you can use in your projects. So if you're setting up an entire kind of course related booklet or even type of tutorial guide, this here is brilliant for what it can do. Like it literally will give you a screenshot of the code itself and you can actually copy the physical code so that you can paste into your documents which is quite incredible so you can use this method as well to help formulate ideas and work with different types of programming experts and engineers to create various type of guides and helpful tips for their projects so if you do have an idea around technical writing or coding or any of those aspects this could be another idea or avenue that you can look into the next option you can look into and probably is one of the most important with regards to online content creation would be articles for blog posts. So if you're creating your own blog you can utilize these steps also to create captivating articles and information based around specific criteria contents and various topics. But there are also a lot of people out there that are creating their own blogs and they want to scale up their businesses. So for them to sit down and write blogs manually themselves, there's only a limited amount of time in the day and for them to get out the content that they want to get out, it can be very time consuming. Therefore, they won't be able to create the level of content that's required to really scale their business up to the next level. So what a lot of business owners usually do is they'll hire out freelancers and content creators to build up a team so that they can scale up and create more content on a more consistent basis. So that's where you can come in. And many of these blog and content creators are now using AI platforms such as ChatGPT, Jasper, Copy AI, AnyWord, Writer, among many other platforms to help them create content at a much faster pace so that they can keep up with the latest trends. So that potentially the goal is to make money at the end of the day and this will give them a good avenue in which to do so. So that's where you can come in, like the previous steps, set up a gig on Fiverr, look at the specifics of what people are asking for, look at what people are charging in terms of prices and the packages that they offer and to get an idea of how you can structure your own setup and then it is just a case of building a client base and finding out what they need from you so you they can ask you to write an article based around the top 10 traveling destinations in 2023 so you can literally come into the app So as you can see here, we'll give you a list of the top 10 travel destinations for holidays in 2023. And then you can elaborate on each of these by telling it to write a detailed description to give more information based off of certain elements that you can expect to see if you decide to travel to these destinations. So it will give you a rundown of exactly what you need. So you don't really need to think outside of the box. By all means, it is good to do some research. So have a look at other travel blogs and other articles to give you inspiration. But then when you find what you need, it's just a case of typing in the parameters of what you need or what 
what you want and then the app will provide the information to you and write it in a way that's very presentable and very professional looking and you can use this on your blog articles now you will have to tweak it and to reword certain elements you'll have to spend time to look over it to make sure there's no errors and change out specific words just to make it unique and that relates to what the client wants but this will definitely give you a good foundation in which to build on so as you can see here it is written a fully detailed article and it's added everything in from paragraphs to line space and and it just is very well presented and from reading it there's nothing really wrong with it again you will need to check it just to make sure everything's okay and then like i said just change a few elements of it to make it unique but this will definitely give you a good foothold in creating content for the likes of writing blog articles and posts not just for clients but even for your own websites as well so this is another fantastic alternative that you can use to make money using these apps leading on from the last point another option you can also look at would be blog post or guest post outreach messages you can also be hired by clients to do outreach guest posts and to even send messages to other blog or website owners that have more authority within your niche to collaborate with them so that you can try and maybe create posts that might be relevant to their audiences as much as your own so that you can essentially build your own authority and build your own website so that you can create backlinks and generate backlinks for your own site so you can literally send messages using the app to generate informative ideas and you can set it up pretty much how you like so you can look at on Fiverr to see the type of ideas that people are already creating and how they are looking at setting up various type of parameters and how they are generating messages to send to people so you can look at how they structure everything and then you can also check the prices to make sure that you have an idea of how to structure your own content and it's just a simple case of coming back into the app and just So as you can see here, it'll write out the different types of elements. It will structure it based off of your introduction. It will even set it up that you can also leave elements in that you can add in your own name, your own job title, and even your own company if you have it. And it will literally set up the message in a way that's very formative, but at the same time informative to let them know exactly who you are. So it can be very formal, but what you can also do is you can also make it more humorous. You can add in your own personality to it. So you can just add in like elements I like, say make it funny so then it will regenerate the message but it will add a bit more humor to it so that it's not too formal if you will now in saying that there is kind of pros and cons to using that type of idea some people will get the sense of humor some mightn't but like the truth is using this platform to generate this type of content there really is no limits to what you can do you can generate it as and how you want so at least you do have that option so you can play around with it and you can generate a number of different messages and then what you can do is you can pick the right one that you think that might be the best fit for the person that you want to send it to or you want to send an outreach message to with regards to a blog or even for your client they might want something that could be generally a wee bit on the cheeky side or a wee bit something that's kind of funny or even more informal or just that more professional looking so you can play around with all of these type of ideas to find out which one would be a good fit and again like make sure to tweak it and just to make it unique and then send that on to your client and if they like it then they can use that so then you can set it off put it into a document and then send it off to them so this is another fantastic way to not only build rapport with your audience but to also collaborate with other creators out there so there's definitely no limits to what you can do with this and there's no limitations in terms of how of the amount of ideas that you can create using this so you can definitely play around with it and see what you think for yourself Another option you can also look at with regards to everything that we've covered here in this video so far would be to be classed as an AI content specialist. As with the rise of AI platforms such as chat, GPT among many others, there is going to be a demand for people to be able to organise specific elements. People are going to want to hire you if you have the necessary skills and you understand all of the basic and fundamental aspects of AI platforms. They are going to want people like you to come in and to not only generate content but also to ensure that the content that is being generated is heavily looked over in a way that you can pinpoint specific ideas errors and even to change out different types of content layouts you can do pretty much anything from the likes of everything we've covered here so far with the likes of youtube scripts even coding aspects blog articles newsletters and you can use the likes of the app inside chat gpt itself to 
generate additional content to change out certain aspects like if you want a paragraph changed you can do that and then you can tweak different ideas and even you can use it to generate like lists of ideas so that you can formulate a plan of action to allow you to tackle the various tasks that are required and this is going to be a thing that is going to be moving forward because while AI is becoming very popular and it is going to become pretty much the standard a lot quicker than you may think in the near future but there's still always going to need to be a human element involved with it to look over certain ideas because again with it being AI it does have the potential to make mistakes now it is getting smarter but you're still going to need a human element to it where you're going to have to come in and tweak a few things here and there now a lot of business owners are utilizing these platforms and they're starting to implement a lot of these ideas but the truth is a lot of them because they're focused on building and scaling their business they don't have the time to overlook or oversee a lot of these content creation processes so they're hiring people now to literally oversee all of the production processes and to look for discrepancies or errors and to formulate plans of action in order to help them to create the best quality content possible so that they can scale their business up to the next level because at the end of the day the reality is is that every business wants to scale and the goal is to make as much money as possible and to build a bigger audience and become the best authority within their niche so by having people on board to oversee all of these elements and even to look at and jump on these latest trends will definitely help them to scale a lot faster so this is another avenue that you can look into as well and it is definitely going to be a future prospect so the 14th opportunity that we can also look at with regards to making money using the likes of chat gpt again using services like Survivor or would be to do resume writing as we all know there's a lot of people out there looking for jobs and trying to create a professional look in resume or cv can be quite difficult and especially to write it in a way that reflects your own personality but also your skills and more importantly experience that you've acquired over the years trying to formulate a concept that can cater to all of those ideas is very difficult but if you have some experience in this area you can definitely utilize this and using the likes of these apps will help you to make it a lot easier to formulate those ideas so have a look at various ideas on these freelance platforms see what people are charging for their services see the type of content that they're producing and you'll quickly see certain layouts and certain formats and formulas that you can also use so the case is if a client comes to you and looks for an idea of how to write a cv or they want you to write a cv based around their experience to say as an engineer or a software engineer you can cater a cv CV for that so it's just a simple case of just typing into the engine and tweaking with your ideas to get something that's going to look presentable you can look and see here what this has produced like this is quite incredible in terms of its format and its layers it's done everything pretty much setting up the summary to give a quick introduction to you and what you are interested in and your experience then it breaks down your technical skills then your work experience and even down to your education whether you've got degrees and all sorts of types of certificates and then you can even mention like relevant coursework or even additional experiences or hobbies so this here is so good that this here is the perfect template to create the perfect CV or resume so if a client comes to you and looks for like a CV like I mentioned based around software engineering and that they have SEO or search engine optimization experience you can use that to generate a very worthwhile and engaging CV or a resume template that you can then send on to your client you will need to obviously tweak a few elements here and there to make it unique to the client itself or even for yourself if you're generating a CV for yourself but like look at this here like it's crazy what this is able to do like if you were to sit and try and write this out on its own it will take you a while to try and figure out the best type of layouts and so forth and the truth is for us as humans sometimes we do struggle with trying to portray ourselves in a positive light and we do struggle with trying to prove our worth in terms of the information and the experience that we have and trying to put it out in a way that's understandable to those reading it can be a struggle to a lot of people and a lot of people will struggle with that confidence in themselves and they wouldn't really know how to put that information out there but the truth is using a platform like this will completely eradicate all of those doubts or fears so you can definitely play around with this you can regenerate more templates and just play around with different ideas and then it's just a case of work with what is already there and then just tweak it and change it and make it unique to you or your client and just move forward from there so this is another fantastic alternative to make money online and as you can see people are making good money writing resumes and it's just a simple case of using this here as a format and again just tweaking it
and it won't take you too long to set everything up so i would highly recommend you have a look at this also the last job opportunity on this list to create content using these apps would be to work with social media copy and as we all know with social media platforms it is one of the best ways to get eyes on you the individual but also to get eyes on your brand and your content and even your business so even if you're creating likes of a youtube channel social media is another way to get more eyes on your videos the same even with blog posts businesses are now tapping into the potential of social media to create that hype and engagement around the products and services that they're promoting or selling so the reality is is while they do have those ideas they may not always have the resources available to have someone there to write all of the content for them so what most companies do especially when they have larger budgets is that they will hire out freelancers to write the copy for them so this is a perfect opportunity for you and there can be a lot of money that can be made on this element as well so if you are an influencer of any kind this could be the perfect avenue for you so so like the previous opportunities that we mentioned set up a gig on Fiverr look at what people are doing see how they're structuring their posts and their content they give you an idea of the type of content that they can provide for you and how they set it up look at their pricing structures and see what will be a good format for yourself and then if a client does approach you and they want specific posts written out based off of certain criteria you can set it up for facebook posts instagram posts even tiktok linkedin any social media platform that requires various written content to be written to promote their brands or services then you can use these apps in order to do that so just to give you a quick example you can literally create a post someone might approach you and look for some sort of promotional material as they want to maybe promote an online course so with this example you could write a detailed high post in this case to promote a new online fitness course on Facebook as that is your primary means of getting traffic as you have built up somewhat of a big audience on the platform and you have a lot of followers so you could hire someone to literally create a very informative and detailed post to create hype and buzz around a new product or service that you currently have in the works or that you're about to release so you can literally come in and use these apps to generate various type of templates and to work with different types of posts and then find one that you think might be a good fit and then you can relay back and forth with the client and then you can change out specific words look for errors change out certain ideas to make it more human like and to relate to the people that could be looking at it and then send it on to your client then when you're ready so you can play around with this there's no limit to the amount of ideas that you can utilize here for creating these social media posts and the more dynamic and the more engaging it is the more potential that it will reach more people because more people will naturally engage with it if they find it to be relevant to what they're looking for so this is another really good alternative like all of the elements mentioned here in this video all do use very similar elements but they do cater to specific niches and different concepts so you just have to find an angle as to which one you want to focus on the most now in most cases some of these creators can focus on the multiple of different ones but it all depends on your background experience but in most cases what you ideally want to do is focus on one concept first utilize the tools that you have at your disposal here and then just work from there so if you've made it to this point of the video you can understand how useful of a tool chat gpt will be to create various different avenues that can potentially make you a lot of money not just to build as a side hustle but you could potentially utilize these avenues to create a fully fledged long-term sustainable business for yourself that you can work with for years into the future and now we have tools at our disposal that make these concepts a lot easier no longer do you have to spend hours literally looking at a blank page trying to figure out what to write and to manually type everything in you can use these tools now to generate the formula or the format or even a template for what it is that you need and then what you can literally do is you can literally just copy and paste all of the best bits that you need and put them into the format that you want and then you can just change out specific ideas elements and then just make it unique to you or to your client so you can also use tools such as Grammarly to look for different types of errors and to change out certain words because it will look to see if if there's anything that looks out of place and you can change out different ideas and it will give you alternative meanings to different types of words the one thing that you can also do is that you will need to be mindful of is while these tools are useful you do not want to just copy and paste all of these elements and just send it directly to your client or even just to put it up on your website because you have to remember that this is AI driven and written content and while it is very professional and it looks fantastic and to be honest it writes it better way more than me or you ever could which is quite insane but the problem with AI written 
written content is that the likes of search engines with Google and so forth also have AI platforms as well that look for AI written content and the problem you have is is that if you just copy and paste these elements and then literally just paste them to your blog post or just send it directly to your client so that they can use on their blog post there's a very high chance that the content won't rank because again it's AI generated so what you need to do is use platforms like the Grammarly look for errors change out the words even rewrite certain paragraphs delete certain elements rewrite it and make it unique to yourself and then what you want to do is you want to open open up Grammarly itself if you have access to the platform you can download a Chrome extension or you can sign up for an account and then what you want to do is bring it into the likes of Grammarly itself paste it in and what you want to do is look at certain elements and you can see here Grammarly gives you an overall score and as you can see here the overall score is very good but you still have to check it like you can see the engagement the clarity the correctiveness delivery and the style and this is all written from AI content so that will tell you how good chat GPT is this will tell you how really good the platform is at generating content which is insane but you still have to take time out to look at certain elements so with the likes of Grammarly if you don't have access to Grammarly there are other programs which I'll show you in a second but if you do have access to Grammarly there is a plagiarism checker so you can check it at the bottom of the screen you can wait a few moments and as you can see here it will give you a direct influence and it will highlight any elements that it deems to be plagiarized and you can see here at the top there's 25 percent of this article that has been plagiarized which means that even though these elements are very good and it writes it out very very well it does also take a lot of information and copy information from other avenues already on the internet so the likes of Grammarly will point that out to you so what you need to do is like I mentioned you need to come in and you need to change all of these elements out and delete them reword them or what you can also do is as an alternative you can also just change many elements out and just make it unique that way then you will be able to decrease this plagiarism percentage down and you want to get it down to as close to zero as you possibly can now if you don't have access to Grammarly there are other tools out there you can also use another tool known as originality.ai and again this is also very similar it will scan words and it will tell you if any pieces of content have been plagiarized and it will be able to detect any discrepancies in the content as well and what you can also do is you can also use various kind of like elements to rewrite the content or you can manually rewrite it yourself and this is another good alternative if you don't have access to Grammarly or other tools I'll leave a link down to this platform down in the description if you want to get access to it as well and you want to utilize these tools as you want to make the content as original as possible once you do that then it will be more formative it will be more approachable it will be more human based basically having a human style element to it and it will be more unique that's the whole idea you want to make it as unique as possible and you want to avoid any of these kind of elements that could cause your content to get you in trouble or that won't rank on search engines so if you utilize many of the steps here and just a case of like I said just coming in and changing out the images rewarding it to make it unique then you will be able to override and overcome all of those hurdles yes it will require a bit of time and effort to put in in order to do that but if you do put in that time and effort you can overcome all of these hurdles and then again you can start building a real sustainable business with it so I do hope that you found the information in this here to be helpful and if you do want to see more type of content or ideas around other ways and how you can generate an income online then you can leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated on future content and if you would like to see more avenues on how you can generate an income online to build a sustainable business and you want to figure out the ways in which to do so then you can check out the link below in the description to find out more and i will see you all in the next one